Yeah, they are. A sergeant tells me that they actually added in new surveillance cameras in response to the threat. Now, though, this is a new layer of security for shoppers and workers. Shoppers I talked to today tell me that they still feel a little bit unsettled from this threat. To be careful where we go. I'm just surprised in the mall. Wow. Shock after we told Miriam Yassine Gomez about Thursday night's confidential tip, explaining a shooting threat here at the Edison Mall. Like I come sometime with my sister. Shopping, what many did on Friday, business as normal. Though seeing all these squad cars circling the mall, unusual. Fort Myers police would not talk with us on Friday, but say these officers are here as a precaution. Gives you a, a good sense of, uh, of safety. They have to put more security ca cameras which a Fort Myers police sergeant says they did do on Friday. We were not allowed to get video on property, but I did go inside the mall without a camera. There was extra security walking around, along with an officer staged at the front door, though the threat still has shoppers feeling uneasy. You'll just stay looking over your shoulder once you hear there's been a gun threat somewhere. Sometimes it make my dad nervous, sometimes it make my mom nervous. Nerves, people like Yasin Gomez says she looks past. I usually, uh, before I go out from my house, I say thank you God. And I pray before I leave my house and I walk them. I don't worry. Again, the only thing that we know is the fact that a shooting threat was made at the Edison Mall. We did request the police report from Fort Myers Police and we haven't received it back yet. But once we do get that report in, we'll be sure to let you know what it details. Reporting live near the Edison Mall, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.